Hello, everyone. Okay, let me see. Am I actually right? Hey, Karen, welcome. So, you guys, I, um, hey, um, just reached over a thousand um, so followers, so I was able to just do a quick live here to let you guys know that, um, hey, welcome, Paranormal Doctor. Um, so, I live in Virginia City. And I have for about seven years now. This is the view from my balcony. And um, this building here to my left is actually the Washoe Club. So they are technically my neighbors. Um, we share a courtyard with them and it's why I actually have um, a few spirits that actually come and visit me from the Washoe Club here in my apartment. So anyway, um, it's I have to kind of see what's going on for me to be able to um, do the first live stream with the haunted dolls and I'm only gonna pick one at first to you know set it up and do everything with so yeah just wanted to come on real quick and um, kind of show you guys what uh, what it's like for me and um, quite frankly the church bells and the um, train I quite miss in the winter the winter season anyway so yeah um, I will let everybody know really soon here um, when I will be going live tomorrow it'll most likely be during the day um, late afternoon early evening um, I usually do not do live streams when my partner is here because um, I can get distracted too easily so I tend to try to do those things when um, I'm completely alone in the house and that also helps cut down on if I hear anything in the apartment that I know I'm the only one here as, aside from my dogs and for the most part they stay in one place when I um, do my sessions and it's usually not real um, close to where I am so anywho it's supposed to rain we actually well actually we've gotten um, warnings from hey your boy welcome um, we've got warnings for uh, thunderstorm, which is bad because we don't have a lot of hu humidity in the air right now. So if we do have a lightning storm and it actually makes contact, we're, we might have a, a bit of a an issue. Yeah, you see that? No, I am not in Mexico. I'm in um, Nevada. I'm in Virginia City, Nevada. And um, so, yeah, you can see that the, there's a few storm clouds over here to my left that are uh, ominous. And hopefully um, we won't have half the town burned down for the third time. <clears throat> so a majority of this town actually burnt down in a, a great fire in, I think it was like 1863 or something like that. Um, my building that I live in was built after the great fire. Um, the Washoe Club actually was built here um, later. It was actually further down the um, B, off of B Street originally. Um, and there was an accident behind it and there was an explosion. So um, that uh, burned down a lot, majority of the town. So a lot of these buildings are old, but they're not um, original buildings in the town. Um, <clears throat> One of these days soon here, I will take you guys all down to uh, a building that some friends of mine own here in town. And it's, uh, they're actually some of the original buildings um, in Virginia City that did not burn down in any of the fires. So that should be, um, I've done, oh great, now people are, people are down there staring at me. Lovely. Um... So, I've, I've done a live, or actually I've just filmed in there um, the last time when my partner and I went in there, and um, it's called Ghost Town. It is a haunted attraction in Virginia City that is a lot of fun to actually take your family to do, and also um, over on C Street here, which is the street just below. Um, on that street, there's actually a, a, they have a gunfight show as well that's a lot of fun to take the kids to. So, a lot of history in this town. 
Um, I would say probably about 85% of the town is actually haunted. A lot of the other residents that live here just choose not to acknowledge the um, things that they experience in their homes. And then for the most part, it's because they want to continue living here and they don't want to feel like they're being run out of their own homes. So I know in my building um, that I live in, <clears throat> it's um, mildly haunted, but it's mostly my apartment that's haunted. And I think it's because I started out in the basement um, and I've lived here for in the, in the same building for seven years now. And um, I let them know that they were welcome to come and hang with me. So the spirits that are good in this town and that come and go out of my building know they're welcome here. I do do a smoke cleansing on a regular basis because I do end up getting some not so nice things that float over from over here. Um, and when that happens, or I also tend to have a problem wherever I go. Um, if it's a historical building property, I almost always end up having something follow me home. Always. It's actually quite annoying you guys because I'll come home from somewhere and I do another session and all of a sudden I got new names um, and new uh, energies inside my home that were not there before. And it's a little frustrating. I, I, even when I tell them, you know, hey, don't, you know, you need to stay here. Uh, a lot of times they don't listen and they still want to follow me home. And it's most likely because um, usually I'm one of the few people that in some of these places that actually have tried to communicate with them. That was from the gunfight show. So the fact that they don't really have too, too many people coming in and trying to talk to them, I think sometimes they're a little shocked. And, um, and no, I'm not on my roof. I am on my balcony. I have a balcony that overlooks the town. They call this a uh, view that you see behind the church that's like that oceany blue is actually what they call the 100 mile view. So way, way back there in that blue is 100 miles away. It's actually a mountain range. So, and um, un <laughs> unfortunately I have my little air conditioner on inside the apartment. Um, we only have, we don't have central heating or air conditioning because the built the building was built in the mid to late 1800s. Um, so we are lucky we have ceiling fans and we're lucky we have one of those dinky under the window air conditioning units you see in crappy motels. Um, but honestly, <laughs> I'm not leaving here. I always joked about that I was gonna die in this town um, because I wanna haunt the next person that moves into my apartment. I'm actually one, there's only been one other person who's lived in this building longer than me thus far. And he actually just passed away two weeks ago. Um, very rapid cancer. Thankfully, he was only here for a short period of time after the passing. And then he's already, he's already crossed over, um, which is good. Um, but so I've lived here for you know, almost seven years now. Um, I think in August it'll be seven years and um, you know the spirits here are familiar with me they know that I, I just want to help them I have had a few spirits in my building come forward that were here before I even moved in um, one spirit is a female named Cecilia and um, she was murdered in this building in the 1800s and um, her body is still, her remains are still in the bottom of my building. So um, she indicated once I was able to access her remains and I pay the small amount of money it is to have somebody interred here at the cemetery, I will have her bones laid to rest so that she can be at peace and cross over. She indicated that she was not going to do that until she, her body was, um, Hey, um, Frosty, I'm actually, um, this is the view from my balcony. I live in Virginia City, Nevada. It's in Northern Nevada. Um, we are actually expecting a thunder lightning storm coming through. So I just kind of wanted, I just kicked over a thousand uh, family members today. And I just, you know, I told everybody I would go live with the dolls. But the problem with that is, is that 
I don't have that much more time before she's going to get home from work, so I don't want to start something I'm going to have to end abruptly. So I will most likely be doing the live uh, with the Nanacom Coffin Edition Spirit Radio uh, tomorrow, probably late afternoon, mid to late afternoon. So um, until then... <clears throat> Oh, yeah, because I have an appointment in the morning, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, so um, I will try to get everything ready to uh, this evening for me to go live tomorrow with you guys so that um, everybody can get a better chance of checking out the Spirit Radio that um, these were custom built for me by um, a gentleman who works with the Travel Channel. He builds equipment for various reality shows on the travel channel and I had gone to him and purchased one of his Nanacom S spirit radios and I fell in love with how I had such amazing results with it that I went to him and said hey can you make me one with the same a similar board because he actually designed the circuit board and it's all custom built from the from the floor up um, now my boards, because the, the boxes are coffin shaped, um, mean, meant that he had to actually redesign the, the, the board that goes in there for the, um, spirit radio. Now this is not a hacked radio, which I have so many different models of hacked radios, but nothing has ever worked for me the way that his equipment has. So I offer the coffin edition Nanacom. Um, you can only purchase them through me. Uh, he, as the builder, won't even sell them. You have to go through me to actually purchase one. So I will give you guys a, a little bit better look at that piece of equipment. Um, he can do, I believe in dinosaurs. I believe that dinosaurs existed at one point, yes. So, um... Yeah, so you guys can get a little bit better look at what the, um, you know, the equipment is that I, that I actually use on a regular basis. And I'm going to wrap this up now, and I hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon, evening, where, whatever time it is in your part of the world. Um, I hope you have a fantastic one. <laughs>